in the first three years there is a zero to sixty degree curves perpendicular positive. In the first two years there is a seventy degree usually positive. But over the five years it should not there should not be any high there. And if there more than fifty degree temperature, then we call it a abnormal. And this well, this pop angle has to be measured from the zero degree. Zero is the one. And then you go there like this to the ninety degree. And is there is no further flexion of this like this seventy degree. We call it the seventy degree or fifty degree. But if it's ninety degree, then it's a ninety degree. And ninety degree temperature is the first temperature which we have to use to be taken down by the various methods. So here is this angle test at zero degree. Flex the hip joint by flexing the 90 degree of the joint, which is not an extension, but in the flexion of the hip joint. When you flex the hip joint 90 degree, it means you keep the hamstring in stretch. This pop angle is about the pop angle about the angles of the hip joint. When you flex it, there is already Tight uh, the hamstring because of the stabilization of the other muscles. Here it is a tight degree which is arising. So it becomes stretch. Then it will be the tight degree becomes stretch. Now initially you flex it and then you extend. To which degree it goes in extension? In this case, it goes to 6 to 50 degree. It means there is a little bit contraction, but this contraction usually not produce any significant problem. But if it, if it is not extended above 90 degree. Above the ninety, then there is the contraction. So this is the pop angle which has to be measured, and you also need to compare on both sides whether there is any difference in between two right and left. That is called the hamstring shift test. 